what I'd like you to do is enter in the questions in the chat box on um, your task manager go to webinar control panel. I will answer all of the webinar questions at the end of the training. Let's go through all of the reporting um, and uh, let's get started. So again, welcome to New Order. We are the leading B2B application with our new reporting feature. We today are going to go over our one-click reporting that is now going to allow you a deeper insight into your business through New Order in one centralized location. So today for our training, we'll be in the task manager reporting. And you guys are familiar with this scene. So once you jump into reporting, you are then going to be introduced to all of our new reporting. With our most new update, we now have one-click reportings across four main topics. You're gonna to see customers, order, product and inventory, sales, and then you also have the opportunity to custom your reporting. So just to scroll down this reporting page, you're gonna see a sales snapshot. Excuse me, a sales snapshot. This is gonna give you, at a bird's eye view, your total order number, order details, um, currency, dollar. So this is a great summary that you guys can all access in one click. So we're going to review all of our new reporting features um, one by one. So let's start at the top at customer. This is really where you're going to view buyer activity, order history, customers who have entered or ordered, and seasonal comparisons. So let's jump in. The first report is buyer activity. Your buyer activity gives you a detailed information of what your buyers have actually logged into here at New Order. When they've logged in, what they've ordered, if they viewed the recommendation. So the great thing about all of the reporting is that some of the reporting allows you to set parameters and set different categorizations that you could then slice your business. So for our specific buyer activity, let's press run and this is gonna give you a quick bird's eye view of everything that the buyer has activated on. So just to review from start to finish, you can see our buyer, Allison. You're gonna see her email, her company name, the last time she's logged in, if she's ever entered an order, if she has that dollar value, you can see if she's ever looked at a recommendation, if she's entered into any of your line sheets, and you can continue to scroll over. What's great about all of these reports is that they can all be exported into an Excel document and you can refer back to them. So again, a great report to engage buyer activity and for you then as the rep to then go back to the buyers and you know get a little bit more feedback of why or you know what the biggest roadblocks are for them to log on, to look at the line sheets. Um, this is a great tool and the more insight that you have from your buyers of how they're using it, the better that you guys can then convert them into logging in and actually placing direct reorders. So to continue down, we've just introduced draft orders by company. This is a great, amazing uh, report that allows you to set specific parameters. So let's click into parameters. You then are going to have the opportunity to run a report to see which companies have draft orders pending in your approval. This is great for right now where you're in peak trade show season, you can then see who's taken details and have you then converted into a great proactive tool. So just to show you what this looks like, let's make our range larger so we can see everything from April 2015 to today. You can filter through department, shipping information, season, retailers, categories, order types, and order tags. You can also change this to look at just your units sold, your total value, and total order numbers. So once you set your specific parameters, you can run the report. Again, all of these reports can be exported. You can see at a quick bird's eye view which companies actually have draft orders that are still sitting in your pending bucket. Again, from a great sales manager perspective, this is a great way for you to see what orders or details after a trade show or after your peak market still need to be converted. So by clicking the X, you then can go to the next report. So let's continue down. Let's look at orders by seasons and company. 
This allows you to see the total units and dollars for each company by season. You can also set parameters here, which is great. So let's set a larger parameter. I always love to see kind of a larger view. You can search by retailers, category, and type. This is great for a roll up by season. So let me just quickly show you what this looks like and the graph that you can see. So you can see your buyer retailer. You can see if they've um, their amount. You can see units. You can see then by a season level. So this is great. So this is a top bird's eye view. What I would love to see here and I think is great is if you go in and specify a specific retailer. So bees, for example. Let's run so we can see their total seasonal information by company. So again, as we're entering in key trade show season, you can have a quick bird's eye view of what they place at units and dollar amount for a specific retailer. So when you're walking in, you have more visibility and more insight to what their seasonal buys are to then to make sure that their seasonal buys for this season when you're in trade show is doubled. Let's continue down. Next is order history by company. This allows you <clears throat> to choose a date range and filter to see all the orders by each company. These fields such as order date, PO number, sales rep, and units amount allows you to quickly identify order history in one click. So let's run this report. As you can see, a quick order history at a total level that gives you what I love here is your not only do you get the retailer's name, but you also get the PO number. So this is one centralized location that before a show, you can quickly run a seasonal bird's eye view by company to see what they have, units and dollar by season. And then also you can run a history by company to then see at a total PO level, what they have on order or what they've placed here with a new order. So again, this is one centralized location that you can run all the reporting that you need to have additional insight to then define opportunities and maximize your business. The next two are detailed bookings by company, style, and color. And then also detailed total bookings by style and company. So these are two great similar reports. Again, this is going to give you two production reports that will give you re units booked by style, color, and size at a company level. What I love about this report is that you not only see <clears throat> at a size level, but this is going to give you a snapshot of everything that is in the system, both approved pending, and processed. Let's now go to total bookings by style and company. Again, what this is going to give you is going to give you a total units by style booked by each company. And this is going to include everything from drafts, pending, and approved orders. So once you set your parameters, which again, you can set them by department, ship information, season, retailers, category, order types, and order tags, you can run a quick report in one click that's going to give you an entire view of the style, style number, color, wholesale. Total units drafted, and as you can see, Bees is a retailer. If they have any draft orders, you can scroll down. If you have any approved orders, so keep on scrolling over, you'll see the pending orders and what retailers have specific units. You can see approved orders and the specific style that it correlates to. Next is total sales by style and company. This is going to give you what was actually bought by a company. This is going to include how many units and total dollars. 
by quickly running this report, you're going to be able to see, again, a major view of what styles were bought. This is great because if you wanted to roll up quickly and identify what the key style is, and another great feature is by hovering over the actual style, you're going to be able to see what that style is. So not only are you going to be able to identify who placed the order, but you're going to be able to quickly identify in a trade show what the style is to refer back to it. This is great because let's say you wanted to run this report for, let's say, 2015, and you didn't remember what exactly a style looked like or what it was. You can hover over that style, identify if a specific retailer has actually purchased it and what that style looks like to then place something that was similar. Probably my most favorite report here is who didn't buy the top 20 bestsellers. This is going to give you at a company level who you now need to go chase after as key retailers and didn't place those buys of your number one styles. So then you can set this by parameters by clicking the parameter view here. Let's make this a little larger so you guys can see a little bit more of a broad view. Once you've run the report, I think this is a great way for you guys to be doing proactive outreach. So as you can see, and let's scroll across this specific style, you can see all of these specific retailers actually haven't even purchased the style. So this gives you a quick bird's eye view. So for example, the care address, you can see that you have a, a ton of different retailers that are missing out on maybe one of your top styles. Again, with all the reporting, you can just hover over the specific style, and it's going to give you the exact picture of what it is. It's a great feature. So that's everything for customer. Any question that you guys have for customer reporting, again, please throw into the chat bar, and I will follow up at the end of the webinar to <clears throat> circle back with all of your questions. So now let's go into your order report. Again, all of these reports are able to be exported in Excel and also can you can view them at a quick one-click graph. So again, if you're in a trade show, if you're at in a meeting and you need to run a quick report for your sales manager or for any of your senior manager, you can have a quick graph to show them where you're at a specific order type. So the first one is going to be daily order log. Now, because I am in the demo, this is not going to allow me to actually pull up any information. But what this is great for is that you can run this to use as your end of day trade show report. So this is going to allow you to choose a specific retailer, currency, order type, and order tag. So if you wanted to see all of your pre-book for everything that was just taken at project for specifically today, you could then run a report that's going to allow you to see at a bird's eye view all of your totals. So as you can see, because there is nothing placed, you can imagine that if you had your orders here, you would be able to see the order number, total value, and you have your end of day recap in one click. So say goodbye to you know taking a calculator and adding up all of those paper orders. You can simply do that all in your orders reporting tab now. Next is going to be order totals year over year comparison. This is going to allow you to see month for last year, current year over year information to drill down to comparison. This report is gonna include all of your approved, process, shipped, and archived information. So to give you a better understanding, let's choose a specific retailer. Let's choose B's. and let's see what her total value is year over year. So this is going to allow you to see quick growth for 2015 to 2016. So as you can see, this is gonna give you a great graph that shows you when their peak selling seasons are, so then you can identify key opportunities to chase after year over year growth. This is a great report specific to a retailer. Again, you can broaden it if you wanted to do by region. So all of the retailers that you knew were in the Midwest, you could then see your year over year comparison to then identify key new strategies to sell into. 
Let's now do total units or sales by order type. This is going to give you a drill down specific to the order type by retailer and category. As you can see, you're going to be able to quickly run all of the pre-book for a specific style. So again, a roll up, this is great because if you wanted to quickly identify and quickly review what styles for pre-book at the end of a trade show, you can then see what styles you need to maybe go chase into or maybe you need to make sure if you have correct inventory levels. This is a great way to quickly identify at the tag type um, what order types and what was actually placed. So those are your order reports. Again, any questions that you guys have on order reports, throw them in the chat bar and I'll answer them at the end. Let's now move on to product. Your product one-click reports are going to be really driven specific to your styles and making quick reports to allow you to quickly identify what product you need to <clears throat> purchase back into. Two of probably the most strongest reports here on New Order that I'm so excited to introduce you guys to are ATS Available to Sell Report. So the first report is going to give you um, current and future inventory at an Excel document. The next is going to give you ATS reports with imagery, which I can remember spending hours and hours on the rep side copying and pasting photos next to my ATS report to then um, send it out to my buyers. So with one quick, you're going to be able to download this report and download it into your um, as an Excel document with photos so then you guys can then send it out to your buyers. So as you're watching my screen, I'm clicking on the click here and you can see my Excel document is now going to show you all of your inventory with images in one shot. So no more copying and pasting. This is going to make your reorder at once business so much quicker and it's going to allow you to spend more time selling in at, rather than you know writing down on a pen and paper and worrying about data entry. So you have all of your information with CADs here that you can refer and send to your retailers. Your ATS report, the first one is just without images. Let's continue down. And I hope you guys are really excited about that ATS report because I think it's probably the most powerful here at New Order. Um, again, I just remember the hours and hours that I spent copying and pasting photos onto my ATS report. So next, let's go to canceled styles. This is going to give you a quick view of all the styles that were marked canceled here at New Order. So any style that at a production level that you know are dropped that your admin goes in and presses cancel to, you guys are not going to be able to run a quick report. Our demo does not actually have any canceled styles, but just so you guys can see, you'll quickly run the information, and if there's no information that's actually uh, generated, it will give you that alert. What you will see here is if, for example, your admin did cancel styles, you're going to get an Excel document that's going to say your style number, style detail information, and how many units were actually styled at a complete company retailer. So this is a great quick report that you guys can use to then make sure that your key retailers, if they need to get subbed into new styles, you can run a canceled style report to make sure that you're going in and replacing those key units. Most drafted styles. So this is going to allow you to quickly run a report on how many times a style exists in your draft order. So let's run this specific. This report is great because, again, what I love about New Order is that when you click on any style information, you're going to see um, a pop-up of the actual style hover and open up to you. So, you know, if you forget what that style is, you don't even have to go through, you know, pages and pages of catalog, you're going to be able to find that image very quickly. Now, this is going to give you a quick bird's eye view of all the orders, um, excuse me, draft styles that you maybe took details on. So when you're walking into, let's say, a post-trade show meeting, you now can have for your management team 
those key top 20 styles that you've booked and maybe the key top 20 detailed styles that you're forecasting to then book into and you're just waiting on getting orders. So a really powerful tool that you guys can tap into. This can also be exported into an Excel document. Let's continue down to production units by style and color and size. This is going to give you a production report on units booked by style, color, and size. And this is going to include everything from approved and processed. This does not include anything that's archived. So again, you do have the option here to set specific parameters. So let's just make our parameters a little larger so you can see at a production level. You do have the option to spe spe specify specific retailers. That's going to be a quick drop down. So let's do V's and let's do the new order shop. Once you've identified your parameters, you could then quickly run a report that's going to show you all of the style colors and who and what was placed. So you can see for those specific retailers that you've chosen that these are the key styles, the color, and at a size scale, how many units were actually placed. This is a great production report that if you had any key styles that you wanted to make sure were produced, you can run this quick report for your key retailers and then send this over to your merchandising team. Or best case scenario is let's talk about getting your merchandising team access here to new order to allow them to run these key reports. So when you're in trade show season, your merchandising team can actually go in there and run a production report and see what the top styles are and what you guys are placing even after you know the first one or two days of let's say Vegas or OR that just passed, your merchandising team can then react and start designing into new styles that are really selling into. Let's go down to um, at the product. Another one of my two favorite reports are here are the top 20 bestseller. Again, this is going to allow you to run a report that easily allows you access to your top 20 best sellers. It's going to allow you to drill down to specific retailer, category, order type, shipping, and information. So if you wanted to run all of the pre-book top 20 styles for Project Liberty and Fanny platform, let's make your window a little bit larger. You could quickly run this report to then identify your top 20 best sellers at a dollar, and you can go in there and change this to even see it a unit. Again, to reiterate, once you see that style information, you can go over and hover on this quick view to see what specific style. Next is top 20 categories by department. This is going to allow you to drill down to your top categories. So again, if you wanted to see what categories for a specific trade show are actually driving your business, whether it's you know having a conversation with your management team saying, you know, we need more dresses, we need more pants because those were our top key categories, and here now is our top 20 best sellers. You can do that after day one of a key trade show. So we're giving you additional insight, additional visibility to really back these, you know, these requests up with key information that you put here in new order. So that's all of your product reporting. Again, if you have any questions specific to product reporting, throw them in the chat bar and I'll be more than happy to um, review all of the questions and answer them at the end of our webinar. So let's continue on to our sales reporting. All of your sales reports are gonna be specifically drilling down to more sales driven um, performance. Again, these can be set for specific parameters to redefine and filter down a specific report. You can also export into an Excel, which will be sent right into your email, or you can preview into a graph. So again, if you're sitting with a management, and you want to show them a quick bird's eye view, you can show them all of the top 20 styles and show them a photo in a beautiful graph in one, one click, one, one section. So let's start with sales history by rep and company. This is going to allow you to dive into rep performance to show you totals by month 
for a specific company. So let's run this report and you can quickly identify and see how powerful this can be. So you can see Allison, what she has actually done for each specific month and who are her top retailers here on the top. So a quick roll up of your entire business by month, by company to identify who is your top uh, rep. This is a great management report. Also to, you know, Every rep will, when they log in, will see their specific retailers, but it can show you then from a shipping perspective, what you want to be making sure gets actually shipped out the door based on the orders that you have put into the system. Next is total sales by department. This is going to be a report that shows you the amounts by each department and specific to each rep. So let's run this. Similar to the report that we just reviewed, but you're going to see now, it's just going to change your accesses. So you're going to see the specific department here, as you can see, apparel test one, and then you're going to see your reps here on the top. So you can see for apparel category and department that Allison has sold, is the number third uh, rep here in our demo. You can see Molly has sold $10,000 and so forth. This is a great overview, quick, for, quick to identify what are your key departments and categories and what reps are really driving your business. So not only are we giving reps visibility, but this is a great management report that you can share to your team to set you know, key goals to say, you know, for the month of January, we need to focus on the key departments and here are the reps that are really driving your business. Next is going to be your total sales by sales rep. This report is going to allow you, again, to see more additional information specific to the reps and specific to sales. So let's actually set some specific parameters to give you guys some better examples here. First, let's make our window larger. You can go in here and let's... Let's specify some specific categories that we just want to run some numbers on. And let's run this report. As you can see that now what it did is it just honed in for each specific rep to give us a quick roll up of those specific categories during that specific time frame. This is a great, great graph that you can see in one click who's driving your business for a specific category. I love this at total sales perspective. It's a great management report. It's also great for you guys as reps to know that you guys can go in here and if you wanted to see where you're at um, and how much, you know, from a do total doll sales perspective, you guys have put here a new order, you can go in, run this report, and, you know, be able to talk to your manager about how, you know, you're going to plan to strategically plan your business up for year-over-year -year growth. And that's our sales reporting. Um, so again, four key buckets, customers, order, product, and sales that we have really spent a lot of time giving you guys in-depth information on you know, additional reports. Now, everything here that is entered through new order is what your reports are going to be pulling from. Anything that is put in through your system outside of new order, you are not going to see that visibility. So I will encourage you guys all to get with your account managers and really understand, you know, how you guys can be putting in all of your orders through new orders, whether it's drafts, um, your detailed orders after trade show and your total orders, even it's bulk orders for your majors. This is going to give you full visibility and full insight to quickly run reports that are really easy. I was on the rep side for 10 plus years and I know how difficult it can be to run a report um, and to get information. So if there's any key reports that you guys are really you know, interested in, I would encourage you all, you know, get with your account managers, um, spend a little time understanding you know, how your business flow works and what are some maybe additional reports that you would love to see. You guys can always reach out to heroes at neworder.com. That is just our support team. They're here all the time to help and support you guys. So one key bucket that I am going to show you guys that I do think is great is our custom report feature. So now this is going to allow you to create a custom report specific to the variables and products that you guys have. 
So by simply throwing in different categories and accesses, you're going to be able to now create a report that you guys can have specific to your business. So go in here, play around to that report. You can export it, um, set it to different currencies, set it to different ship. This is going to be an area where I would say circle back with your account manager so you guys are creating custom reports um, that are specific to your workflow business. So now let's answer some of any of the questions that you guys may have had. Let me check here down in chat. It looks like you guys are a pretty quiet group um, here, and uh, with when it comes to reporting, I would definitely say if there's any questions that you have when it comes to reporting, do not hesitate to reach out to your account managers. Um, reach out to heroes at neworder.com. And also, you know, I the best thing I always say with my brands is go in there, start using those reports, get yourself familiar, start seeing which reports you can really use to drive your business, maximize your efficiency, and then give you additional insight to then drive sales. That's what we're here to make your life easier. Thank you so much, guys, for joining into our reporting webinar. If you guys have any questions, again, uh, this will be posted. You guys can refer back to this. And also, too, do not hesitate to reach out to heroes at neworder.com. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.